Can we talk about how chill these sweaters are? Hi guys, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we're the Sorry Girls. And we're making sweaters today for Christmas gift week. Guys, this is Christmas gift week. If you didn't realize, this is a... Yeah, it's a Monday, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's DIY gift week if you guys didn't realize this is a Monday and it's like, why are you uploading on Monday? Well, that's because we have five videos this week of five different DIY Christmas gift ideas. We had so many ideas, we wanted to take a whole week to explain them and tell you how easy and affordable they are to make. So we're starting out with this really simple and fun idea of DIY Christmas sweaters. I was trying to think if we were making like ugly Christmas sweaters or just like cool sweaters. They're almost like so bad they're good, you know? I mean, I think this is pretty good. I don't think it's bad at all. <laughs> Make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss any of these DIY tutorials for the whole week mm -hmm. and a bunch of other holiday content for the other weeks, but I mean specifically this week, DIY Christmas gift week. Okay, so let's talk about how we actually make these sweaters. The first step is figuring out what word or quote or saying you want to put on the sweaters and that was probably the hardest part of this whole video. I know, I feel like we spent like an hour going back and forth on like what we should write on the sweaters. What's like a cool word? Like awesome, dope. Dope sounds a little bro-y. I'm a bro. My bro sweater. No. Uh, <laughs> I'm giving this to my dad. What do I want to say? I love taxes. Wait, does your dad love taxes? He loves taxes. Tax bay? <laughs> tax bay. My dad is tax bay. <laughs> One thing I will say is try and keep it short because I mean, it does take some time to write out all the letters, so the less letters you have, the better. So we started with using a thrifted sweater. Now, if you're giving this as a gift, you might want to buy a sweater, or if you know that whoever you're giving it to is totally cool with upcycling and reusing, then head to the thrift store and pick yourself up a nice sweater. So for our example sweater in this video, we chose the word taco. So we're going to be using some sewing pins to mark out the space that we want our word to go on the sweater. We tried doing this with like markers or like sewing pencil crowns, but it really didn't show up on the yarn sweater. So we just went with pins to kind of create a box of whereabouts we want the word to go on the sweater. Next, grab yourself some really chunky yarn in whatever color you want. Put the yarn through a really thick needle and start by making a knot at the end of your yarn that's big enough so it won't come through the sweater. Start by making one small stitch starting from the bottom, coming up and going back down. Then come up from the bottom a slightly larger distance away and then take your needle and pass it sideways through the first stitch you made and then bring your needle back and pass it through the hole that was made when you came up from the bottom. Repeat that so you're coming up from the bottom a small distance away, passing the needle sideways under the two pieces of yarn, and then go back into the hole that was last created. So just repeat this process again and again and you'll start to have each chain start to form and there you go, you figured out how to do the chain stitch. A tip I would just say to making this work for you is practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. I mean, we consider ourselves like that my experts because we do this a lot and I was a little confused at first. So after just doing it over and over again, it clicks and it's really easy to it's do. It's so easy and look how cute it looks. Looks how cute it is. <laughs> so we are freehanding this. If you need to kind of like use a piece of paper or something, you can use that as a stencil. But honestly, I think freehanding it was just the easiest as long as you're staying within those pin lines that you created for yourself. Just go one letter at a time and even one like part of the letter at a time. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna do the T and I'm gonna cross the T. <laughs> and like just really mapping it out. You can't mess up too badly. And if you do, just cut your yarn and start again. And a tip is to add a knot to the back every time you're done a new letter so that in case you do mess up further on if you cut the yarn not everything comes out <laughs> not everything not not everything so that it's not everything <laughs> and when you're all said and done you're gonna have a custom sweater for yourself or whoever you're gifting it to and guys let us know in the comments below what you're gonna write on your sweaters yes. because maybe next time we do something like this we won't have to sit around for like ever and try to figure out what to write on a sweater. So get excited guys because we have a full week planned of really awesome Christmas gift ideas coming for you. So subscribe if you're not already because I don't want you to miss any of them. And if you guys like this video, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, make sure you sub it. And we'll see you, oh my god, not next time, like tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.